Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to descale this Braun KF7170 Brew Sense Drip Coffee Maker. So is your little green light above the clean, is it on steady? That means it's an indication that it's time to descale your coffee maker. Is your coffee not as hot as it used to be? Does it taste bad? Is your coffee maker getting really loud and taking a long time to brew? Those are all signs that it's time to descale. I'm going to show you how to descale with vinegar and with the bronze descaler. This is a model number BRSC013. It costs $15. It can be a little hard to get. That's why I'm going to show you how to do it with the brawn and the vinegar. The manufacturer does. They are okay with you using vinegar on it. They recommend the brawn, but you can use vinegar. You're going to have to give yourself about 45 minutes to an hour to complete this. So the first thing, take out the charcoal water filter. We're going to leave this out for the duration. Make sure your brew basket is in, but don't we don't want a coffee filter or no coffee in there. And then we've got our craft. Okay, so now here we're going to figure out how much solution to use. This is where it gets a little confusing. The manufacturer book says go look at the directions. The directions say go look at the book, but if there's if there's if either one doesn't tell you, it tells you to dilute it uh, 100. This is a this is 200 milliliters. It says 100 milliliters to one liter of water. So. This is the descaling solution from Braun. If you, you got to cut the little tape right here and then you, it's got the instructions in there. Um, but this, you'll see on the side, it's got two doses. And even the box says, this is two doses, 200 milliliters. You're only going to be using 100 milliliters. And that's why this little line is here. So you've got two descales out of this. Okay, so we're going to use, we're going to dump in 100 milliliters into the carafe and then I've already got it filled up but one liter of water is almost to the seven cup mark or almost one quart so if you don't have a, a thing to measure the water so put fresh water in up to the seven mark between the six and eight and then we're going to dump this in 100 just 100 liters of it into there and that's then we're going to dump this in the back now I want to explain the vinegar if you're going to use vinegar you're going to use one cup, one measuring cup of pure vinegar. You're going to dump it into your craft, and then you're going to fill your craft up to the 12 mark with fresh water. That's the mixture ratio for the vinegar. So again, just very simple. If you've got the Braun descaler, use half the bottle, put it in the craft, fill your craft up to the seven cup mark, and then dump it in the back. If you're going to use vinegar, which I'm going to use, I like to use vinegar. I'm going to use one cup. This is pure vinegar. This is distilled white vinegar. You can use just regular household vinegar. Pour it in there. Now I'm going to fill my craft up to the 12 mark with just fresh water. Okay, so I've got my craft filled up to the 12 cup mark with fresh water. Then you simply pour the water and the vinegar back here where the water goes. You're going to put your craft in. Make sure you close the lid. So now you're just going to press the clean button. You're going to press it. The light's going to flash, but I got to press the brew button now. Okay, now both of them are flashing. It's going to brew that vinegar and water or the descaling solution through the coffee maker. It's going to kind of start and stop. It's an automated process. It wants to let that um, heating element soak. So I've cut open several coffee makers. This is a Cuisinart. Coffee makers are made generally the same. They've got the same principle. You've got this warming plate and underneath the warming plate is the heating element. It's an aluminum heating element. The water comes in from the back. It gets heated and then it gets shot up after it's heated up over the coffee and out the brew head. So what we're actually descaling is this aluminum heating element. And we can see I've got it cut open here. Hard water deposits will build up on the inside in there and they'll actually start to close off that port, that little tube. And it won't let your, um, the coffee maker heat the water as good as it should and your coffee may not taste very good. So by this thing starting and stopping, it's letting that heating element soak. So it's gonna heat the vinegar or the descaling solution up, run it through here, then it's gonna kind of pause and then it's gonna start up again. That should break away that, that hard water deposits there. Okay, here's our first pause. So it brewed about a cup maybe. It, it makes you think that it's stopped, but both lights are still flashing. That's the pausing that it's doing. After it pauses for a little bit, then it's gonna start brewing again. 
Okay, so it's getting towards the end. It kind of pops and knocks a little bit. Now vinegar does smell when it's running through a coffee maker, so you may need just a little bit of ventilation. Okay, so you don't get any beeps or anything to let you know that it's done. But what it does do is it turns the brew off. It doesn't turn the warming plate on when it's done with the cleaning mode. So the cleaning light goes out and the brew light goes out. Now be careful, that's very hot. We're gonna go dump this out and then I'm gonna rinse this out with soap and water and fill it up with fresh water. We gotta do some fresh water rinses. So be careful back here. I also like to rinse this out. It, it will have some vinegar and water on it too. So rinse that out, get that all ready to go. Make sure you snap that back in. I've got that filled up with, with just fresh water. We're gonna pour it back here now. We're gonna have to do two of these fresh water rinses. This is to get the taste of the vinegar out of the machine. And, but we don't use the clean mode anymore. So you just put it in here. You're just gonna brew this like a normal coffee. Just hit the brew button. That's just gonna brew that water straight through. That's gonna take about 10 minutes. I don't like, yeah, don't do it on the bold. That takes too long. Do regular brew. Again, after it's done brewing that, rinse that out, fill it up with fresh water, run another pot of water through it. After two pots of water, you should be good enough. If you still have a little bit of smell or taste in the machine, run a third pot. So I'm just gonna show you how to set the, the water softness level on your machine. So press and hold the clean button and it, the display will start changing. H3 is hard water. H1 is soft water. H2 is normal water. So if you've got a bunch of uh, calcium buildup around your shower head, then do it on H3. If you've got normal water, put it on H2. Hit the clean button one more time. The coffee maker acts differently depending on how hard or soft your water is. So make sure your clean, your hard water softness is set properly in the machine. Now the clean light should be reset. You shouldn't have to descale it. If it says if the clean light is still on after this, you shouldn't do a whole nother descale. But I like to descale mine. My light comes on after about maybe eight or nine months. I like to try to, you can descale it before the light comes on. I like to do it about every six or seven months. Thanks everybody for watching.